If you loved Roger Hall's Four Flat Whites in Italy, you won't want to miss the Telstra Clear season of Stepping Up. got to see the show. It is such an easy watch. It's a, it's a feel-good show. It was so much fun. I laughed out loud once too often. Come and see it. Stepping Out is a gentle and warm-hearted comedy about a group of very different women and one hapless male who come to uh, Mavis's weekly tap class every Thursday night. They come for fun. They come to uh, sort of escape their humdrum lives and uh, to make friends really. But I guess the, the big um, event that happens um, is that they have a chance to be in a televised charity show and for Mavis, their teacher, who's an ex-professional dancer, this is a, a chance to reignite her career. So she's interested in the women uh, getting their steps absolutely right and getting perfect professional. Uh, they're interested in what they're going to wear and uh, whether, whether they've got time to get the hair done. And um, so there's that kind of conflict, which is um, uh, at the centre of the, of the piece, at the heart of the piece. But really it's about um, community and it's about a, a, a sense, our need for community and how we need to make connections. And it's about um, kind of doing what you love, but doing it a little bit better. It's hard to believe at the beginning of the show they couldn't dance. Yeah. <laughs> it was like every dance school you ever go to and more. It was great. Vera drives everyone mad because she's an obsessive compulsive and in the scene we see her arriving early to clean the toilets that the Boy Scouts have left um, dirty in the community hall where they have their classes and she's uh, talking with Geoffrey who's the only man in the class whose wife has recently died and they have this little conversation about whether there's a gas leak in the hall or not. Do you think there's a funny smell in here? Hmm? Uh, not that I can... Oh, I'm very sensitive to smell. You don't think it's gas, do you? Um, you don't think there's a gas leak? Um, not that I can... Oh, I'm sure there's a funny smell. Do you know, it's almost a bit eggy. Anyway, if you'll excuse me, I must get on. I just want to have oh. a go at the toilet. That's why I came in early. It's not the nicest in there, is it? I don't think I've actually ever been there. Oh, there's all sorts of people use it during the week. You've got to be so careful. Someone's even stolen the plug out of the basin. And there's never any toilet paper. I expect it's those Sea Scouts. Or the pensioner Pilates group. <laughs> oh, you'd think they'd have learned to aim at their age, wouldn't you? Of course, all the women who come to the class are very enthusiastic, but they're pretty hopeless dancers. Um, and Mavis, the tap teacher, is very indulgent of them. Here's a scene which just kind of illustrates some, uh, what she has to deal with. Let's try the tap springs and drum beats starting on your left foot. No, no, no Tossie, your left foot. No, your other left foot. I supposed to move and think at the same time. It's not natural. Well, the other ladies are managing it. Give it a go. Yeah, well, that's because most of them are balangi. They have an advantage. A natural rhythm. <laughs> Five, oh, so six. Five, six, seven, eight. Vera, you need to keep the weight on the balls of your feet. No, no, your heels off the floor and, and the weight on your toes. Yeah, something like that. And everyone, you're still inclined to be too heavy. You need to keep it light, nice and light. And Sylvia, try to keep your knees together. Ah, been trying to keep my knees together all my life. <laughs> Haven't we all, darling? <laughs> of course, in the end, everything's terrific. Uh, as it happens so much in our business, you know, that it, it all comes together at the last minute. And their, their show that they put on is um, hugely successful. And they all have a pleasant time, and we all go home happy. <laughs>
we absolutely loved it. And the dancing, honestly, that end, end bit was quite phenomenal. And so was the dancer. They were brilliant. They did a fantastic job. They yeah. did. We laughed a lot. Yeah, we did. And I think we just about danced as well. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was spot on actually and uh, was really a surprise at the end. One never really thought it was going to finish with that sort of finale. Yeah. Oh, I think they did well. I great. think they did really Very well. well. The dancing was great. <laughs> <laughs> and there were some really good lines. Oh, I thought it was a terrific laugh. It was great fun. And I was reminded it had been done a long time before with Lee Grant in the lead at the, the long lost and much loved Mercury Theatre. But it was wonderful to see a, a revival with a new take. Absolutely brilliant. And do you think I just drove up from Tarong today just for a night in Auckland and here I was lucky enough to get a seat and had a fabulous night. I love the finale. Everyone should have a Diamante G Street. It was great. It was yeah. good, yeah. Good. Yeah, unexpected but fantastic. Really good. Yeah, I really loved it. Yeah. But the finale was amazing, just the dancing at the end was fantastic and they developed the characters all the way through, it was really great. I thought it was absolutely fantastic, it was just all full of fun and sparkle and it was just fabulous. So a surprise ending, the high energy kind of dancing was really, really good, thank you. I thought that was almost the best part of it, it was like the pièce de résistance, it was amazing. Fantastic. It was great, very entertaining, we a lot of fun. We love the finish. Yeah. Great finish, yes. It was absolutely fantastic. It's fun, it's frivolous, it's got fantastic lines and script in it. It's just really fun. You guys have done a sensational job with it. Stepping Out, now playing at Sky City Theatre for three weeks only.